Hi friends, Allie here and welcome back to another beginner's guide to crochet video. In today's video, lesson four, I'll be teaching you how to make the single crochet stitch. The single crochet stitch is one of the most basic of crochet stitches. It can be used to make so many different projects. It's very versatile and is a great first stitch to learn if you're a beginner. Before we get started, if you want to check out the rest of my videos of the Beginner's Guide to Crochet, I'll leave a link down below to the playlist here on my channel, or if you learn better by reading or looking at photos, then check out my website theturtletrunk.com for the blog posts for each of the lessons in this series. For all of my stitch tutorials, I want to provide you with a free and easy crochet pattern to practice the stitch we just learned, so be sure to stick around until the end of the video and I'll show you how to make an easy dishcloth using the single crochet stitch. Now, if you're ready to get started, let's grab some yarn and a hook and let's get making. To show you the single crochet stitch, I will be using Lion Brand Yarn Hue and Me, which is a bulky five weight yarn, and I'll be using a 6.5 millimeter or K crochet hook. This is a Clover Amour crochet hook, which are my absolute favorite crochet hooks. You can use whatever yarn and hook you'd like since we're just practicing. I find using a thicker yarn and larger hook are easier to use when you're learning to crochet. Here I already have a swatch started so we can get right into learning the single crochet stitch. I just made a foundation chain and have a few rows of single crochets made. In my last beginner's guide to crochet video, lesson three, we learned how to crochet the foundation chain. So feel free to go watch that video first if you need, then come back here to learn the single crochet stitch. To single crochet, insert your hook into the next stitch. Make sure you're going under the two loops of the top of the stitch. Then yarn over. To yarn over, you're wrapping your working yarn over top of your hook like so. Then using the tip of your hook, pull the yarn through the stitch. We call this pulling up a loop. You will now have two loops on your hook. We're going to yarn over again and pull the yarn through both loops on your hook. And there we have a single crochet stitch. Now let's repeat that again into the next stitch. Insert your hook into the next stitch. Yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. There's a second single crochet stitch. Let's do it again. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. Insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through both loops on your hook. And last one, insert your hook, yarn over, pull up a loop, yarn over, and pull through both loops on your hook. And there we have it. Now let's practice our single crochet stitch and make an easy dishcloth. I'm gonna swap out my yarn and my hook. I always use a 100% cotton yarn for my dishcloths since it's absorbent, machine washable, and durable. So here I have Lily Sugar and Cream yarn, which is a medium four weight yarn. And since this is a thinner yarn, I will need a smaller crochet hook. So I'll be using the hook size that's recommended on the back of the yarn, which is a size five millimeter or H hook. And you will also need a pair of scissors, a yarn needle, and a measuring tape. Now to start our dishcloth, we need a foundation chain to work our single crochet stitches into. So I'm going to work 21 foundation chains, which will give me a width of about six inches. Feel free to chain more or less to get whatever width of dishcloth you'd like. I will quickly go over how to make a foundation chain here, or you can find a more thorough explanation in the last beginner's guide to crochet video. Start with a slip knot on your hook, then chain 21. To make a chain, yarn over and pull through the loop on your hook. That is one chain. So we're gonna repeat that for a total of 21. So here I have a chain of 21. Now we're gonna be working back into that foundation chain. So turn your work like so. And we're going to work our first single crochet into the second chain from the hook. So here's our first chain beside the hook. And here's our second. So working into that second chain from the hook, we'll work our first single crochet. 
So insert your hook and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both of the loops on your hook. And there we have one single crochet stitch. Now we will single crochet into each chain across. So into the next chain, insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop, then yarn over and pull through both loops on your hook. Now continue repeating that across, working one single crochet into each chain across. When you reach the end, you should have a total of 20 single crochet stitches across. Or if you adjusted the pattern, you should have one less stitch than you had chains. Now we're on to row two. So to start row two, we need to chain one and turn our work. So chain one, and this will bring us up a level so that we're in line for row two. And then we will turn our work like so, so that we are ready to start the next row. The chain one does not count as a stitch. For rows two and on, we're just going to work one single crochet into each stitch across. So starting in our first stitch right here, which is the last single crochet we worked from the last row, we will single crochet and then single crochet into each stitch across. When you get to the end of the row, chain one and turn. Your stitch count is always going to be the same as it was in row one. So if you notice you have more or less stitches in a row, that means you have either added in an extra stitch or you skipped a stitch. So be sure you're counting your stitches as you go. We're just going to repeat row two until our dishcloth is the same length as the width. So my cloth is about six and a half inches wide so I'm going to repeat row two until the length of my cloth is about six and a half inches tall, which for me is 25 rows. If you need to work a different number of rows to make your dishcloth square, that's fine. You can work as many as you need. So for rows three to 25, I'm going to single crochet into each stitch across, chain one and turn at the end of the row and repeat. When you reach the end of your last row, you can either leave your cloth as is, or if you wanna clean up the edges, you can add a border. If leaving it as is, you can cut off your yarn, pull the loop on your hook out, and weave in your ends, or I'll show you how to add a single crochet border around your cloth. To add a border, keep your yarn attached, and we're going to work two more single crochet stitches into the same space as our last single crochet. This is going to help us round out the corner. Then we're going to single crochet down the left side of the cloth, working one single crochet stitch into the edge of each row until we reach the next corner. When you reach the next corner, work three single crochets into the corner stitch.
Then single crochet into each stitch across the bottom. I'm working over the tail end I have left from the foundation chain. You can either work over it now or you can just weave it in later. When you reach the next corner, work three single crochets into the corner stitch. Then single crochet into each row up the other side of the cloth. When you reach the next corner, work three single crochets into the corner stitch, then single crochet into each stitch across the top until we reach the first single crochet we worked for the border. To close the border, slip stitch into the next stitch. To slip stitch, insert your hook into the stitch, yarn over, and pull through the loop on your hook. Then cut off your yarn, leaving about a six inch long tail. Then pull the loop on your hook out. Now with your yarn needle, weave in any loose ends. When weaving in your ends, work through a few stitches at a time. I like to go through about four or five, then switch directions and repeat another four to five times. This will help keep your end locked in and secure. You can then cut off any excess yarn and repeat with any other loose ends you may have. And here is our single crochet dishcloth. You can make as many of these as you'd like to practice the single crochet stitch, and you can use these in your own home or show off your new skills to your friends and family and give as gifts. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Be sure to check out the rest of my channel and my website for more free crochet patterns and more lessons in the Beginner's Guide to Crochet series. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.